So now we are going to take up a few questions from the earlier board examinations. Each of the questions that you see or I would say most of the questions that you see will consist of two parts. Part 1, draw the ray diagram and they will give you some situation for which you will have to draw the ray diagram. I am not going to draw that now because we have run extensive simulations on that and I have emphasized enough on the fact that you have to practice, you know, practice the ray diagrams multiple times. What we are going to look at now in these slides is the second part of every such question where there is a numerical involved and you will have to solve something and you know, mention something about the mirror or the image depending on whatever is asked. So here is the first question. Determine focal length of a spherical mirror which forms a 3 times magnified real image of an object placed 16 centimeters in front of it. Remember the words, one is a mirror that is important because the formula for lens is not same as that of the mirror. So spherical mirror which forms an image that is 3 times and the image is a real image. So real image 3 times spherical mirror and the object is placed at a distance of 16 centimeters. Now let us make use of that data here. So I will just write those characteristics once again. First of all it was a spherical mirror. spherical mirror, it produced a real image which is three times the size of the object and the object was placed at a distance of 16 centimeters from the mirror. And what else was given? Uh, determine the focal length. So out of all this, we have to find out the focal length of the mirror. This is the task. Since it is a spherical mirror, we start with the mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. We could have found out the focal length if we, if we knew these two values, out of which one of them is given 16, the other one is not given. So before we even use this equation 1, our job is to get the value of image distance so that we can put it here. Either the you know the unique value of image distance or image distance in terms of the object distance, whichever be the case. It is given a real image three times the size of the object. And if you recall the simulations that we learned, you know that we went through, or if you recall the ray diagrams that you have drawn, depending on what I asked you to practice you will realize that a real image by a spherical mirror or for that matter by a lens is always inverted. So magnification for a real image which is an inverted image which is given by minus of V by U this value of magnification is 3 times the size of the object but with a negative sign. Again I will repeat the negative sign comes because of the fact that it is a real image and the real image is always an inverted image. So this information is indirectly given by this word here. This is equal to minus of, this minus is already there in this formula, V, you don't have to put either plus or minus for that because we don't know where the image will be formed, divided by, now look at the object, the object is placed 16 centimeters in front of the mirror. So, you know, drawing from what we learned in the earlier sessions, this object distance would be negative. So, 3 is equal to minus 3 is equal to minus of minus will become plus V by 16. So, V is equal to minus of 48. This is equation 2. So, our headache was that we did not have the value of V. But now we managed to get the value of V. Now put this value of V back in that equation and see what do we get. Let us try to do that. So 1 by F is equal to 1 by minus 48 plus of 1 by and what is the object distance? 16 but you have to follow the sign convention like what we did here therefore minus. So when you simplify this 1 by f is equal to since both of them have a minus sign I will keep this minus outside LCM is 48, 48 ones and 43's, 16th is a 48 therefore I am using that. So 1 by f will be equal to minus of 4 by 48 
this implies focal length is minus and this is inverted therefore 12 everything is given in centimeters earlier so this is also centimeters i did not assume that the mirror was a concave mirror if you even take a relook at this entire video you will never see a mention of a concave mirror anywhere he said a spherical mirror therefore i started with the spherical mirror and i took a spherical mirror you don't even have to assume that it has to be a concave mirror just start off like that and look at the way the mathematics unfolds it and directly you get a negative sign which mirror will have a negative focal length only the concave mirror has a negative focal length we don't even have to jump to a conclusion for that right so i hope this solution is clear to you so this is how the formula of magnification the sign conventions all collectively play a role in getting you to the answer right now let us take a look at the next question i'll clear this one first clear yes now let us go to the next question an object is placed at a distance of 30 cm in front of a convex mirror now we don't have to worry he has himself said convex mirror of focal length 15 cm write characteristics of the image formed by the mirror he only said write the characteristics so actually you don't have to you know literally give the numerical values of that but if you recall the simulation that we used and if you recall the ray diagrams that you have practiced you will realize that a convex mirror always forms a virtual image diminished image and a erect image right let us see if the mathematics also gives us the same thing so for this remember uh, an object is placed at a distance of 30 cm convex mirror of focal length 15 so now it is convex mirror and uh, focal length 15 object distance is 30 so focal length is 15 cm and object distance is 30 cm notice that none of the quantities are given with the sign convention it is our job to incorporate the sign convention our job presently in this context is to assert the various properties of the image and when we say various properties we have to check whether it is a real image or a virtual image whether it is magnified or diminished and whether it is uh, erect or inverted these are the three properties out of which the moment you see convex mirror you should already know what answer you are going to get but never impose that while solving it while solving it we'll just solve it very neutrally so the mirror formula as i quoted earlier is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u it is a convex mirror therefore this focal length will be positive 15 plus because that is the nature of a convex mirror this is equal to 1 by v neither plus nor minus don't even touch it just leave it like that remember in the earlier sessions i you know also i told you any physical quantity which you are yet to calculate you should not be partial towards it and put a minus sign or a plus sign and what i'm telling you now is not restricted only to ray optics once you come to 11th class 12th class you'll come to know it is applied in current electricity thermodynamics um, you know mechanics everywhere wherever you use a sign convention be always impartial so this is 1 by v this plus is there in the formula itself 1 by distance is 30 and the object has to be placed in front of the mirror therefore minus so now if we solve this 1 by v will be equal to 1 by 15 this minus goes to the other side and therefore it becomes plus 1 by 30 so 1 by v lcm of course is 30 15 twos are 30 and 30 ones are 30 therefore v is equal to 30 divided by 3 that is 10 cm notice this there is no minus sign it means the image distance is plus 10 when there is no sign here we say that it is plus now what does that plus mean if you recall the diagram if this is a mirror of course he has said convex mirror so i'll directly take convex mirror suppose if this is the mirror this is the principal axis this is where the object is from the pole of the mirror any distance measured in the direction of the light ray should be positive 
any distance measured opposite to the direction of the incident light ray should be taken as negative. Keeping this in mind, this one turned out to be positive. It means the image is formed somewhere here. Can a light ray tunnel through a mirror and form an image there? No, right? So that itself tells us that it is a virtual image. Right? It is a virtual image and it is formed at a distance of 10 centimeters from the pole of the mirror. Now there is still another characteristic left and that is whether it is magnified or whether it is diminished. For that, let us make a calculation for magnification. I will just erase this part of it and I will make the calculation of magnification here itself. Magnification in case of mirrors is minus of V by U. So this means magnification will be minus of V is 10 by U is 30. But remember with sign convention 30 with a negative sign like the way we used it here minus. So this one is plus 1 by 3. Again you see the mathematics beautifully brings out the, all the aspects of the image. Plus means it is a virtual image. It is a erect image. 1 by 3 it means 1 by third the size of the object. Recall I said plus and the numbers or plus or minus and the number they should be understood separately. So this is another case where a combination of mirror formula magnification and proper sign convention gives us the answer. Right? Let us take up the third one now. I will clear this and here comes the third one. Magnification produced by a spherical mirror. He did not mention convex or concave. He just said a spherical mirror is minus 3. From this statement, what can you infer about the mirror and the image? Magnification is minus 3 and there is no other number given here, only spherical mirror, uh, spherical mirror and minus 3. So it is a spherical mirror and uh, magnification is given as minus 3. What does minus mean? It means inverted. And inverted means that it is also a real image. You can again check your ray diagrams. You can check the ray diagrams. You can run the simulation multiple times. Right? Real images are always inverted. Inverted images are real. You can remember it like this. 3 means it is a number greater than 1. So this is a enlarged. So which kind of mirror produces an enlarged real inverted image. The answer is clear. Concave mirror. We have seen the simplicity associated with convex mirror, right? Keep wherever the object, it will always produce a smaller image. Concave mirror may produce an enlarged real inverted image. So what kind of mirror is this? It is a concave mirror. And they also said, uh, they, they asked for one more thing I think. Mirror, yes, image. And image is of course, we have mentioned that it is an enlarged image and it is from this that we mentioned that it is a spherical mirror. That is it. You do not have to you know, convert this into mathematics. But of course, those who are academically inclined, you can actually start off with 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. Make use of this and make use of m is equal to minus of v by u and c if you can get any information from these equations which can justify this, it can be done. Right? Those who are interested, when we meet in classes like Anvation later on, we will discuss these kind of things. Right? But as of now, he just said comment on this and therefore, this is all we have to do. Then, let us go to the next one now. Linear magnification, remember? Earlier in this session itself, I think I told you that there are two kinds of magnifications. At this stage, we are speaking of only linear magnification. That is what he quoted here. Linear magnification produced by a spherical mirror is plus 1 by 3. Analyzing this value, state the type of the mirror and the position of the object. Uh, okay, spherical mirror plus 1 by 3. Spherical mirror. And magnification is given as plus 1 by 3. Even out of memory you can quote it. Only convex mirror produces a virtual that is erect and a diminished image. Why am I mentioning virtual and diminished? Because you see 
this one implies a erect image and uh, this also means it is a virtual image and this is a number less than 1 